Hey everybody and welcome back to the Video Geek Squad channel and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a review of the software that I use to make all of my videos. Now I have been a Camtasia user uh, for Camtasia for quite a many of years so this is going to be a full Camtasia review and I'm going to teach you and talk to you a little bit about how you can make awesome videos for years to come. Now when it comes to video creators most people are not video editors by nature, meaning you don't start off in the YouTube space or in the video creation space being an expert when it comes to video editing. And so when it comes to video editing, you always want to work with a software or a tool that's going to help you and going to sort of curve some of the long-term learning curve so that you can really make consistent, beautiful videos and you can make all of the kinds of tutorials and lessons and things that you need to do. But not only that, you want to be able to make different types of content such as Instagram posts and you want to be able to make reels and TikTok videos and all sorts of things and you want to be able to make those videos relatively very easy. And I've been able to do that using Camtasia. Now I'm going to be taking you in, giving you an inside look of Camtasia in just a moment. But what I want to do is I want to talk to you just briefly about the importance of using Camtasia and why I think it's the best software for you to use. Number one, ease of use. Camtasia has a very intuitive user interface. It makes it really, really easy. Most of the stuff that's inside of Camtasia is drag and drop, so it's not a whole lot of work to do it. As you can see, it's trusted more uh, by more than 39 million creators. A lot of people love this software. Some of the largest uh, you know, content creators that I know use Camtasia. This is video editing software that's going to help you whether you are an educator, whether you are an instructional designer, whether you are a tech marketer, you can use this software. If you're doing software reviews, this is a great software for you to use in order for you to record your screen and to do tutorials just like the one that you are watching right now. This is a way for you to inspire and educate. You can give people a lot of good information and you can excite. Now, they have a lot of new features. The Audate, uh, or Audiate uh, feature, which is to help you edit your videos using text. This is an awesome, awesome tool as well for you to use. And so you can use it pretty much straight across the board. Now, I use a Snagit and Camtasia uh, workflow. So I typically will record all of my videos in Snagit, bring them over to um, Camtasia, and then I can use them from there. Now, if I'm doing a specific type of video, I will go into Camtasia and I'll use Camtasia so that I can get all of the elements from uh, Camtasia. But for the most part, I use a workflow, a certain type of workflow for the videos that I make. Okay, now if you're looking at this, um, this is how you, when you get ready to record, it's going to set you up. So you're going to start there and I'm going to show you that in just a minute and it's going to make it really, really simple for you and easy for you to understand and to grasp. Okay, all right. And so you can, you know, audit, you know, what's the word for it? You can automate text and you can bring text to life with, um, Camtasia and you can really use it. Now you can actually highlight your cursor. You can do all sorts of things like you have a bigger cursor here. You can do that with this, this little circle that you see in uh, Snagit. This is just me recording this in Snagit, but this is something that you can of course do. You can uh, do a cursor replacement or smat or path smoothing to smooth out your path for uh, your path for you. So this software, I've been using this software all the way back uh, to Camtasia version number eight. So I've been using this software for many, many years. And I just thought to myself, I haven't told anybody and I haven't really made a review on the software that I'm using. So I decided to this week and really over the last couple of videos, I've been introducing you guys to video software and just programs that I'm using that I've never made a review about. And so this is one of these software programs that I think that you would really enjoy. If you are looking for a really good software program, make sure that you use the link in the description below. Full disclosure, I am an affiliate with Camtasia and I am working very diligently to make a lot of videos. Just so that you guys know, they will there will be a lot of Camtasia tutorials on this channel. And so we're going to get into how to use Camtasia and how to use Camtasia to make 
a lot of awesome content and a whole lot of really good videos all right so let's take a look inside of camtasia so that way you can see how the software works and then that way you can uh, make an informed decision on whether or not you think it's going to be great for you okay now when you first open up camtasia this is the screen that you will see okay you'll see this particular screen it'll have some recent uh, projects for you and some templates um, you have a menu bar here so you can uh you know, learn, support, find support, and then see what's new inside of Camtasia. You can start off with a new project. You can start off with a new template or open an existing project, or you can click on this and this will start a new recording for you. Okay. When you start a new recording, um, and I'm going to turn this off, um, you can actually, uh, it'll record your screen and as you can see, I have a, two screens here, um, so it can record my uh, my uh, my video camera, and it can also record my screen. Now, because I'm actually recording and using another program, it, it's you know kind of sort of interfering with the both. But you know, just to give you an idea, I'll pull this up in to the uh, on the screen so that you guys can see this a little better. So we're going to get out of this just for the sake of getting out of this. We're going to pull up Camtasia, and that, that's how you would start a new recording, okay? So it makes it really, really easy. So when you're doing a new project, um, you would just click on New Project, and that's going to open the current version of Camtasia that you have, and you can put a piece of uh, video inside of here. You can drag and drop, and I'm going to be going into some different parts of the element here, but here you have, down here you have what's called your timeline. Um, here you have your media bin, and on the right side you'll have the properties, and this is where all of your properties will come into uh, play over here. Now, over here in your media bin, you have your media bin, you have your um, Camtasia assets that you can use, all right, and you also have your library, okay? Now, I have an additional library that I've also put in here to make my workflow a lot faster, but this is a part of your library as well. Now, you have annotations that you can use. Um, this is where you're going to get into putting text, speech bubbles, and things like that. You can also use arrows. You can also, you know, have basic style shapes and things of that nature. Uh, let's look at all. So this is how you can pull up all of the shapes that you have there. This is where you're going to use your blur and highlight features. So you're going to blur and highlight here as well as get all those squiggly lines and things all around and arrows pointing to certain things in your video. Now here is where you're going to have keystroke callouts as well. So this is where you're going to have that information as well. Now these are your visual effects. This is where you're going to have your background removal, your blend mode, if you want to blur a specific region a region of your screen, if you want to put a border around something or speed up a clip, this is all the stuff that you're going to have in here. A color adjustments, color tints, you, you'll be able to colorize stuff. Uh, corner rounding, um, this is where you're going to take your cursor path. You can even use device frames here. Um, if you want to freeze a certain region, you can do that as well. Or you could create a mask. Uh, which is really cool there as well. All right. Now, this is where you're going to get into your transitions. Your transitions is where you're going to do your action wipes. And this is how you're going to, you know, create certain things where you're going to do like card flips and things of that nature. This is your animations. If you're going to zoom in and zoom out, you can do custom animations. This is your behaviors tab. This is where you're going to you know, cause your text to do certain things. This is your cursor effects so that you can, you know, maneuver stuff around your cursor as well, make your cursor stand out a little bit more. And if you needed to do some type of voice narration, you could actually do your voice narration right inside of Camtasia. So it's pretty awesome as far as that's concerned. Now, just to give you an idea, I'm going to go inside of a file folder here and I'm going to scroll down and we're going to go to videos. Um, let me see if I've got anything in here. Um, all right, now just for the sake of this, I'm going to take this video and we're going to drop it inside of Camtasia. It's just that simple, guys. You drag and you drop stuff in, okay? Once you drag and drop stuff in, you can bring it to the timeline. 
Okay, so you copy it and you just you can right click on it and and say add to timeline or you can drag and drop it and bring it down to the timeline. So it's really, really easy for you to use this. It makes it really, really simple for you to do it. And I love this software. I've been using this software for quite some time. Now, remember, this is your media bin. This is your properties and this is your um, your timeline. And I'm going to go into another video where I go into that a little bit more. Um, you can actually delete it just by highlighting it and getting rid of it. And so it's really, really good a uh, piece of software for you to use. So if you're looking for a video editing software, um, this is one of these software programs that I would definitely recommend. Um, you can definitely use this software. Um, you can actually do what I call batch producing. Um, if you're into batch producing, let's say you have a, uh, you made like 10 or 15 videos, uh, you can actually edit all of those videos and just actually batch produce them all at one particular time. You can also export frames. Um, let's say, for instance, and I'm going to probably go in this and into another video. If you wanted to export this particular frame, just this one frame, you could do that here. Um, so it makes it really, really easy for you to do that here. And so it's really, really good. Um, and I really, really like this software. Anybody who knows me knows this is the only software that I recommend. Um, I don't use Adobe Premiere. I don't use DaVinci. I don't use any of those other things because this is just really simple and it's cut and dry and it's so simple to use. All right, guys. Now, there will be a link in the description below. If you are not a Camtasia user, make sure that you become one. Um, I actually am on the maintenance plan, so I get the updates of whatever new software is when the software updates i actually get a new copy of the software all right guys so just make sure that you hit the like button on this video make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get all my future camtasia videos and updates and i'll see you guys in the very next video